Hello, hello, my boo, hi, crazy universe. Welcome, or I say welcome back to my channel. It's me again, your ultimate pageant buddy. I'm at the bang, 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 Oh, yeah. Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. After my reaction video about the Miss Grand International National Costume Competition yesterday, now let's move forward to Miss World Update. For today's video, guys, I'm going to react to two of my favorite candidates for Miss World 2021, aside from Philippines, of course, and Malaysia. I have uh, Manasa Varanasi of India, yes, and Olivia Yais of uh, Ivory Coast. Okay, so let's watch their performance during the head-to-head -head challenge. Woo! I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's do this! Oh! <laughs> woman, I wanted to ask you what makes you the most proud about your culture? Uh, representing India itself is a huge honor. Well, back in India, we traditionally greet each other by saying Namaskaram. And Namaskaram literally translates as the light in me welcomes the light in you. And I think this is a beautiful word really to showcase how much we value respect in our culture. Respect not only towards each other, but also the planet that we live in. And I think when we speak of respect, there's most Indians believe... Wait, 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 wait. I just can't get off my eyes of her beautiful, stunning face and the way she speaks so much grace. Oh my gosh. Looking at her video right now, I mean, such a goddess. Beautiful and... What I mean as the right word to, to describe her, it's, I mean, you have like so much optimism. You can see so much positivity in her face. Like you want to learn more about her. You want to listen more about what she's saying. So that's what I'm feeling every time I see Manasa Varanasi. At the one uniting force that exists in the world is energy. The same energy that's in you. It's the same energy that's in me and it's the same energy that's in the world really and it's this energy that drives us to really be participants meaningful participants in life who respect the planet that we live in and even when we look back at our traditional practices in india right everything right from our traditional practice of eating from a banana leaf to our practice of bucket water baths which in fact conserve precious water and even our clothing in fact, our clothing is all about natural dyes, organic cotton, and hand looms, all of which is just very respectful for the planet. And these ideas might be ancient, right? But I think the idea of a sustainable, conscious planet is in fact very modern. It's something that we should totally adopt in our daily lifestyles. And when we speak of sustainable... So she's pointing more of uh, giving respect to oneself, to others, and to the planet. I mean, that's how uh, India see their tradition and their culture, and they must be proud of it. And I love it. I love to learn about that. Amazing. Another thing that I'm suddenly reminded of is that in Hindi, we have the same word for yesterday and tomorrow. And what this basically tries to tell us is that time is a circle. Everything that we do today, is in fact going to impact our tomorrow and i think it's this value of sustainability that i really treasure deep inside of me india is really a melting pot of cultures diversity there's so much wisdom and sensitivity that my culture carries and it's this concept of sustainability that i treasure and hold very close to my heart wow. oh, that's beautiful and i've visited india what a long answer and yes i learn a lot about this answer Beautiful. 
um, with Miss World quite a few times. So everything that you're talking about, I've seen firsthand. It truly is beautiful. I'm so glad that you're so proud of your home and of your culture. Thank you so much, India. Thank you. Mm. Your question is, if you could give your younger self advice, what would it be? I was a very shy child growing up. I had a small circle of friends. And I totally remember that day when I froze in front of the school assembly when it was my turn to read out the news for the day. But if, if I had to give one piece of advice, then I would just like to say, talk. <laughs> Step out of your shell and talk. When you have the gift of sound, the, the gift of voice, then it only makes sense to really exercise it, to, to build new friendships to speak up for what matters and, and exercise it in the, in the best way possible. Right. I know it's so important because if you had not decided to talk, you wouldn't be with us today. Mm -hmm. And so yes. we're very, very proud that you've not only decided to open your mouth, but open your mouth on behalf of all the people in your country that you get to represent, on behalf of your Beauty with a Purpose, and on behalf of what we do here at Miss I think World. so much beauty and sound, and oh. I love immersing myself in this Yes, world. you know that's what I love as well, so <laughs> yes. I completely, completely understand. Thank you, India. Thank you. Oh, I probably would. India, wow, so much grace, poise, beauty, and her outfit for this head to head challenge is just so beautiful. I love the color, it is a pastel color, I think, and she, she comes very fresh. I mean, she attended this head to head challenges, challenge to win this. Look at that beauty. I'm just like, I'm just in awe. It's jaw-dropping. Beautiful Manasa Varadasi. Really one of my favorites for Miss World. Sorry. I'm a little bit um, biased. But I really, really do love her. Give myself the same advice. Because yeah. I, I didn't actually get to find my voice until I was exposed to something like Miss World. Which I assume a lot of you had the same experience. So that's something good to follow. Yes, yeah. we're very proud. Thank yeah. you, India. <laughs> Okay guys, and another favorite of mine, big favorite of mine is Miss Cota de Bois, Olivia. Well, during my first video reaction about her, I really feel her sincerity and her genuineness and uh, her strong will to win this competition. And I will not be surprised if she will be one of the winners of the Miss World 2021 competition. But before that, I really love to watch this video of her during the head-to-head -head challenge so let's watch this video you know watching your video you said something very quickly but i did catch it you said you're the granddaughter of a queen Abla Puku, yes Abla Puku. incredible can you speak to us about that of course so my in my video i decided to say that i am the descendant of Abla Puku. And Abla Puku is a very famous African and oh. Ivorian queen known for her rare beauty, but truly for her heart, for her bravery, and for her courage. And I briefly tell her story, which is a story of a queen who has to run away from enemies with her people and is faced with a very difficult choice of sacrificing her only son to save an entire population. And oh. I'm so proud and honored to be part of that ethnic group, royal ethnic group called Les Zacons Baolé. And today I am wearing the symbolic crown with oh. the gold elements to represent my culture, my history, Beautiful. and to embody Abla Poku herself. And her story. Oh, wow. I mean, just like Manasa Varanasi, she is wearing this traditional uh, dress. And now we have Olivia wearing this crown. And I can see that gold in her crown. And it's just so spectacular. I mean, wow. Look at that. She's bringing Ivory Coast into this head to head challenge, not only by representing herself, but of course through her wardrobe and the way she styled herself she's bringing her inner miss cota de voix i love that story that i grew up with it's a story that really inspires me on a daily basis and i really wanted to to highlight the power and the impact that women have in our society and i just i just think it's a beautiful thing and i really hope 
through my video that it will inspire young girls like it inspired me and that they will inspire themselves to be strong, independent, and brave leaders in their society. Very, yes. very eloquent. Oh, Lord, that's a beautiful story. Wow. We're so, so, so proud of you. And I know that your family, that, that your family is so excited yeah. to see the way that you've embodied all that your great ancestor has yeah. done and you now have her strength within your bones yeah. and you're continuing to represent the strength of the woman. And we're just so excited to have you. Thank you. What is the most important thing parents should tell their children? Oh. Wow. You know, parents are such a huge blessing in kids' lives. I know my parents are such a huge blessing in mine and trees of knowledge. And um, I just think the most important advice that parents could give to their kids is to embrace themselves, embrace who they are, and no matter what, never apologize for being who you are, you know? Because when you know who you are, when you know where you come from, and when you know where you're going, you're unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, being unapolog unapologetically yourself, exactly. that's what's gonna get you the farthest, because... Wow, 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 wow. Uh, for now, I see Malay Malaysia, India, and uh, Cote d'Ivoire as my favorite to win the crown from Miss World 2020. So this will uh, this is subject to change once uh, uh, we have the other activities and challenges for the Miss World. So that's it guys. I hope you like this video and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified every time I have a new upload. See you again soon. Bye! Thank you.